Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Valsa Williams and with me is VC Pramod with the Midday News. The headlines. International Day of Yoga is being celebrated across the globe. Large number of people participate in the exercise virtually. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says yoga remains the ray of hope as the whole world fights COVID pandemic, says yoga emphasizes on both physical and mental health. President Ramnath Kovind says India's vision to bring mind and body together to achieve holistic health has benefited millions. Nationwide free vaccination drive against COVID-19 begins for people above 18 years at government facilities. Home Minister Amit Shah says the pace of vaccination will be increased in July and August. India crosses major landmark of administering more than 28 crore COVID vaccine doses. Over 53,000 new COVID-19 cases reported in the last 24 hours, lowest in 88 days. Recovery rate improves to 96.36%. In cricket, New Zealand to resume at the overnight score of 101 for 2 against India on the fourth day of the WTC final at Southampton. And in Euro Cup football, Ukraine to take on Austria, while North Macedonia will lock horns with the Netherlands tonight. As the free COVID-19 vaccination campaign begins from today at government facilities for those above 18 years, we advise our listeners to get vaccinated. We also advise our listeners not to lower their guard as COVID-19 remains a threat to our health. Please stay at home unless it is essential to go out and continue to follow these four simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene and get vaccinated. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075. And now the news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that yoga remains a ray of hope when the whole world is fighting the COVID pandemic. He was addressing people on the occasion of the 7th International Day of Yoga this morning. He said, yoga has given us the hope that we can fight COVID-19. आज जब पूरा विश्व कोरोना महामारी का मुकाबला कर रहा है तो योग उम्मीद की एक किरण भी बना हुआ है दो वर्ष से दुनिया भर के देशों में और भारत में भले ही बड़ा सार्वजनिक कार्यक्रम आयोजित नहीं हुआ हो लेकिन योग दिवस के प्रति उत्साह जरा भी कम नहीं हुआ है कोरोना के बावजूद इस बार की योग दिवस की थीम योगा फॉर वेलनेस ने करोड़ों लोगों में योग के प्रति उत्साह को और भी बढ़ाया है Mr Modi said nobody was mentally prepared to deal with the coronavirus but yoga has become a medium of self confidence he said that whenever sages of india spoke about health they not only meant physical health but also mental health कोरोना काल में योग से हमारे शरीर को होने वाले फायदों पर हमारी इम्यूनिटी पर पड़ने वाले सकारात्मक प्रभावों पर कई स्टडीज हो रही है आजकल हम देखते हैं कई स्कूलों में ऑनलाइन क्लासेस की शुरुआत में 10-15 मिनट बच्चों को योग प्राणायाम कराया जा रहा है ये कोरोना से मुकाबले के लिए भी बच्चों की शारीरिक रूप में तैयारी कर रहा है। The Prime Minister said yoga has given a way for holistic health and a happier way of life. He exuded confidence that yoga will continue playing its preventive as well as positive role in healthcare of the masses. The mantra of Vasudev Kutumkam, which India has followed since ages, is now finding global acceptance. We all are praying for each other's well-being. If there are threats to humanity, yoga often gives us a way of holistic health. Yoga also gives us a happier way of life. I'm sure yoga will continue playing its preventive as well as positive role in health care of masses. Mr Modi said even medical science today lays emphasis on the healing process besides medical treatment. He added that yoga helps in the healing process. 
He pointed out that doctors have used yoga as an armor to treat patients. Yoga ne logon mein ye bharosa badhaya ki hum is bimari se lad sakte hain. Main jab frontline warriors se, doctors se baat karta hu, to mujhe batate hain ki corona ke khilaf ladai mein unhone योग को भी अपना सुरक्षा कवच बनाया डॉक्टरों ने योग से खुद को भी मजबूत किया और अपने मरीजों को जल्दी स्वस्थ करने में इसका उपयोग भी किया He said that for most of the countries Yoga Day is not an age-old cultural festival and yet people's enthusiasm and love for Yoga Day has increased Mr Modi said when India proposed the International Day of Yoga in the United Nations the spirit behind it was to make yoga accessible to the whole world Mr Modi said when India proposed the International Day of Yoga in the United Nations the spirit behind it was to make yoga accessible to the whole world on the occasion Ayush Ministry launched a lot of digital tools and free yoga resources for the spread of yoga The main theme of the International Day of Yoga 2021 is Yoga for Wellness. Yoga Day is being observed in about 190 countries globally. A large number of people are participating in the exercise virtually. In Uttar Pradesh, 7th International Yoga Day is being celebrated across the state and various programs have been organized at district headquarters. Governor Anandiben Patel, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and other ministers greeted the citizens of the state on International Yoga Day. In his message, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath said that yoga will help in fight with the COVID-19 pandemic. More in this report. Most of the people practice yoga at their homes in the morning and senior citizen along with children enthusiastically participated in these activities. As part of the Amrit Mahotsa yoga session was organized in Agra Kila in which local MP and other dignitaries participated. Keeping in mind the social distancing, people in Pili Bhi district practice yoga in the forest areas. The pics and videos of the yoga sessions are being posted on social media platforms. Ayush Department of State is organizing many competitive programs and webinars are being organized in various districts to spread the message of yoga sushil chandra tiwari air news lucknow in maharashtra international day of yoga is being celebrated across the state cultural affairs ministry organized functions at five places in the state more from our correspondent the governor of maharashtra bhagat singh koshyari participated in yoga session and performed yoga asanas at raj bhavan in mumbai cultural ministry organized functions at five places in the state in mumbai at nehru science center and kanheri caves in pune at aga khan palace in nagpur at old high court building and in aurangabad these demonstrations were organized at elora caves union minister nitin gadkari participated in demonstrations at nagpur after demonstration renowned artists performed culture the program ncc cadets in maharashtra took a pledge to practice yoga for a healthy body and a healthy mind jeevan bhavsar air news mumbai in telangana the international day yoga celebrations are being held at many places across the state with gaiety but with caution virtual sessions dominated the iyd celebrations this morning due to covid-19 pandemic our correspondent says that the need for practicing yoga is being highlighted during various programs on the occasion here is a report The International Yoga Day has been celebrated in Telangana mostly virtually due to prevalence of covid cases. However, there are some major events held in Hyderabad as well as in districts with a number of participants including sports persons, students and those who are health conscious. Governor Dr. Tamilisai Soundari Rajan in a message highlighted that only through yoga one can achieve balance between body and mind. Union Minister of State for Home G Kishan Reddy participated in a virtual yoga event from Delhi and asked people to strengthen their mental and physical health by practicing yoga every day. Telangana State Sports and Tourism Minister Srinivas Gowd participated in an event organized by the Confederation of Indian Industries at Kondapur. Lakshmi AR News Hyderabad. In Assam, thousands of people participated in yoga exercises virtually on the occasion of International Yoga Day. Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi took part in a yoga session held at Raj Bhavan virtually. Chief Minister Hemant Biswa Sharma took part in a yoga session along with several dignitaries at Geruka Mukh. Various organizations have held virtual sessions along with webinars today. 
Along with the rest of the world, the International Day of Yoga was observed across Arunachal Pradesh today. Governor Brigadier Dr. B. D. Mishra retired along with Chief Minister Pema Khandu, participated in the yoga session organized at Raj Bhavan in Itanagar this morning. Speaking on the occasion, the governor extended his good wishes to people of the state on the occasion and expressed hope that the day will motivate more and more people to practice yoga. Conveying his greetings to the people, the chief minister said that along with Indus Valley civilization, yoga was also developed in the ancient Indian civilization. He said health plays a very vital role in life and yoga enhances it. Mr. Kandu added that yoga is helping people beat bad effects of coronavirus infection during the present pandemic. Power System Operation Corporation Limited, POSOCO, observed 7th International Yoga Day with over 600 employees and their families connecting via online today. POSOCO held the yoga session in association with the Art of Living. Addressing the employees, POSOCO Chairman, come Managing Director, KVS Baba, requested all employees and their family members to include yoga as a part of their daily routine as it helps to achieve physical and mental well-being. On the occasion of Yoga Day, let's listen to this song in which Kailash Kher, Shankar Mahadevan, Sonu Nigam, Shan, Chitra and many international singers have lent their voice. President Ramnath Kovind did yoga in the lawns of Rashtrapati Bhavan on the occasion of International Yoga Day. In his message, he said the vision of India's ancient seers of bringing mind-body together to achieve holistic health and happiness has benefited millions over millennia. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu performed yoga in Delhi with his wife to mark the day. In his message, Mr. Naidu appealed to people to make yoga a part of their daily life. You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. International Day of Yoga is being celebrated across the globe. Large number of people participate in the exercise virtually. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says yoga remains the ray of hope as the whole world fights COVID pandemic. Says yoga emphasizes on both physical and mental health. President Ramnath Kovind says India's vision to bring mind and body together to achieve holistic health has benefited millions. Nationwide free vaccination drive against COVID-19 begins for people above 18 years at government facilities. Home Minister Amit Shah says the pace of vaccination will be increased in July and August. India crosses major landmark of administering more than 28 crore COVID vaccine doses. Over 53,000 new COVID-19 cases reported in the last 24 hours, the lowest in 88 days. Recovery rate improves to 96.66%. In cricket, New Zealand to resume at the overnight score of 101 for 2 against India on the fourth day of the WTC final at Southampton. And in Euro Cup football, Ukraine to take on Austria while North Macedonia will lock horns with the Netherlands tonight. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts.
centre is disseminating awareness of national helpline numbers for the benefit of citizens during the COVID-19 pandemic. The helpline number of the Health and Family Welfare Ministry is 1075. The Child Helpline number is 1098. For senior citizens of Delhi, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand, the helpline number is 14567. The helpline number of the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Nimhans for Psychological Support, is 080-4611007. The Ayush COVID-19 Counseling Helpline number is 1443. And MyGov WhatsApp Help Desk number is 9013151515. Welcome back to the Midday News. The Union Government has launched free COVID-19 vaccine to all the citizens above 18 years of age from today. This move is expected to help in scaling up daily vaccination numbers. All citizens above the age of 18 years can avail free vaccination at any government facility. The center will buy 75% of the total vaccine production from vaccine manufacturers and give it to the state governments free of cost. No state government will have to spend anything on the vaccine. All vaccination centers, government and private, would provide on-site registration facilities. Registration on COVID app is not mandatory. The states may avail the facilities of common service centers and call centers to help citizens book slots for vaccination. Health Minister Dr. Harshwarzan visited RML Hospital in Delhi to take stock of the vaccination campaign. Union Petroleum and Steel Minister Dharmendra Pradhan visited a CGHS dispensary in Sarojini Nagar in New Delhi to inaugurate a free vaccination campaign. BJP President J.P. Nadda also visited a vaccination center at RML Delhi. He said the vaccination drive is going on smoothly. Complimenting the Prime Minister, he said the ongoing nationwide inoculation drive is the world's largest and fastest vaccination program. Criticizing the political leaders who raised several questions against the COVID-19 vaccine, Mr. Nadda said the same leaders are now taking jabs. This is the world's largest vaccination program and it is the world's fastest vaccination program. ये दोनों बातें हमको ध्यान में रखनी चाहिए. And if this is the fastest, the path which we have taken, we are taking it that path. उसी रास्ते को हम लेकर के चलें. Speaking to AIR, one of the young beneficiaries in the national capital who took her second dose of COVID vaccine today thanked the Prime Minister and the Centre for the vaccination program. She urged everyone above 18 years to step out and get vaccinated at the earliest to support India's fight against the pandemic. नमस्कार मैं मैथली हूं मेरी उम्र 22 वर्ष है मैंने आज ही कोरोना वैक्सीन की दूसरी खुराक ली है टीकाकरण केंद्र पर व्यवस्था बहुत ही अच्छी है मैं केंद्र सरकार खासकर मोदी जी की बहुत आभारी हूं कि उनके प्रयासों से आज से देश भर में हर उम्र के और हर तबके के लोगों को केंद्र सरकार के माध्यम से मुफ्त टीका लगवाया जा रहा है मैं सभी युवा मित्रों और साथियों से आग्रह करती हूं कि जल्दी से जल्दी टीका लगवाकर कोरोना को देश से भगाने के इस साझा प्रयास में अपना योगदान दें Earlier this month, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that the centre will take over the existing COVID-19 vaccination drive. Our correspondent reports, the aim of the government is to vaccinate all adults in the country against coronavirus disease by the end of this year. India has crossed a major landmark with administration of 28 crore 36,000 COVID vaccine doses so far. Union Health Ministry has said that more than 30,39,000 vaccine doses were given in the country in the last 24 hours. Out of this, nearly 25 lakh beneficiaries were vaccinated with the first dose, whereas around 5 lakh beneficiaries received their second dose. The Health Ministry confirmed that so far over 4 crore 70 lakh doses of the vaccine have been given to people in the age group of 18 to 44 years. So far, nearly 22 crore 80 lakh people in the country have received their first dose of the COVID vaccine, whereas nearly 5 crore 15 lakh have been fully vaccinated with both the required doses. Union Health Ministry said vaccination is an integral factor of the comprehensive strategy of the government for containment and management of the pandemic, along with test, track, treat and COVID-appropriate behaviour. Phase 3 strategy of COVID-19 vaccination has come into force from the 1st of last month. From today, the centre has started the largest free vaccination campaign in the world.
India's active COVID case load has declined to 7,2887. Health Ministry said India reported 53,256 new cases during the last 24 hours, which is the lowest in 88 days. Over 78,000 patients recovered during the last 24 hours, taking the total recoveries across the country to more than 2 crore 88 lakh 44,000 so far. Daily recoveries continue to outnumber the daily new cases for the 39th consecutive day. The recovery rate has increased to 96.36%. A total of 1,422 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours, taking the cumulative death toll due to COVID-19 to over 3,88,000. Testing capacity has been substantially ramped up and more than 39 crore 24 lakh tests have been conducted so far. The centre has so far provided more than 29 crore 35 lakh vaccine doses to states and union territories. The vaccines have been provided both through the centre's free of cost channel and through the direct state procurement category. From today, with the beginning of the new free vaccination campaign, the centre will provide 75% of the total vaccines free of cost to all the states and union territories. The Health Ministry added that more than 2 crore 98 lakh COVID vaccine doses are still available with the states and union territories to be administered. Home Minister Amit Shah has said the union government has decided to increase the pace of vaccination against COVID-19 in July and August. The minister was briefing the reporters after inaugurating various developmental projects worth 80 crore rupees in Ahmedabad today. More from our correspondent. On the first day of his two-day visit to his home state, Gujarat, Union Home Minister Amit Shah today visited a vaccination center at Bodakdev in Ahmedabad. Speaking to media, Mr. Shah welcomed PM Narendra Modi's decision to provide free vaccination to people aged 18 and above. Modi ji ke is fhaisle ke karan, vishwa bhar mein jitne vaccination ke karikram chal rahe hain, usme Bharat pehle hi prati 10 lakh ki manank mein sabse upar tha. और अब हम बहुत तेजी से लगभग लगभग सबको टीका देने के हमारे लक्ष्य के आसपास पहुंच जाएंगे। The minister expressed confidence that the goal of inoculating almost everyone will be achieved soon. Aparna Khun, Air News, Ahmedabad. Bihar government will launch mega COVID vaccination drive today. Chief Minister Nitish Kumar will initiate the drive this afternoon through video conferencing from Patna. Mr. Kumar said people should get themselves vaccinated and ensure vaccination of each member of the family. He said vaccinated people must motivate their neighbors for taking the jab. The state government has set an ambitious target of vaccinating another 6 crore people in the next 6 months. 6,000 vaccination centers have been set up for this purpose. For intensive vaccination, a task force has been constituted at a block level in each district of the state. In Chhattisgarh, all the citizens, especially the youth, are showing a lot of enthusiasm for the COVID vaccination. From today, all the citizens of the state are being registered for COVID vaccination through the COVID portal. The facility of on-site registration is also available at the vaccination centers. A report. The population of the age group of 18 to 44 years in Chhattisgarh is about 1 crore 35 lakhs. About 12 lakh people of this age group have been inoculated with COVID vaccine so far. The state government had created a separate portal for vaccination of this age group, but now all age groups will be vaccinated through the COVID portal only. The health department has clarified that those who have got first dose of the vaccine after the Registration on state government portal will have to show the certificate of the first dose at the time of administering the second dose. At present, around 21 lakh doses of COVID vaccine are available with the state government. Vikalp Shukla, AIR News, Raipur. In Madhya Pradesh, a mega vaccination campaign has been launched today. The target is to vaccinate 10 lakh people on the first day of the campaign. To achieve the target, 7,000 vaccination centers have been set up in 52 districts of the state. More from our correspondent. 
Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan has appealed to make the massive vaccination campaign a success for the safety of human life. Vaccination started at 7000 vaccine centers simultaneously on the first day of the campaign. Prominent persons are present at each center in the form of vaccine motivators including public representatives, religious leaders, sports persons and personalities from other fields. More than 1 lakh registered corona volunteers are playing an active role in the campaign to create public awareness. Pooja Pivardhan, AIR News, Bhopal. In Jammu and Kashmir, three terrorists, including a top commander of lashkar e taiba L.E.T., were killed in an encounter with security forces in Baramula district last night. The encounter broke out in Gundbrat area of Sopor when the Army, JNK police and CRPF launched a joint operation to flush out terrorists. Police said top L.E.T. commander Mother Sir Pandit was involved in the killing of three policemen and two councillors and two civilians recently. Tamil Nadu Governor Banwari Lal Poro hit today said the state government will protect and preserve the, its rights and privileges at all costs and will find a way through the Indian constitution in case of any dispute. Delivering his address at the first session of the Legislative Assembly today, he said the government would function without any discrimination and provide for all. He said the state government would cooperate and work with the union government to develop the nation. In cricket, New Zealand will resume their first innings from the overnight score of 101 for 2 against India on the fourth day of the World Test Championship final at Southampton. For New Zealand, openers Tom Latham and Devon Conway showed a lot of resilience and built a solid 70-run opening partnership. Captain Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor were at the crease when the stumps were drawn on the third day yesterday. For India, R. Ashwin and Mohammad Shami scalped one wicket each. Earlier, India were bowled out for 217 in their first innings. Ajin Rahane with 49, Virat Kohli with 44 were the top scorers for India. The one-off match marks the culmination of a two-year cycle of the inaugural World Test Championship launched in 2019. In Europe Cup football, Ukraine will take on Austria while North Macedonia will lock horns with the Netherlands today. Last night, Italy beat Wales by 1-0 in the Group A match. Both the teams have advanced to the last 16. In another Group A match, Switzerland defeated Turkey by 3-1. Now let us take a look at the weather today. The national capital, Delhi, was partly cloudy with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Minimum temperature was 25 degrees. Maximum will go up to 37 degrees Celsius. Mumbai is having a generally cloudy sky with moderate rain. Minimum temperature was 26 degrees, while the maximum is expected to be around 33 degrees. Chennai is also having a generally cloudy sky with light rain. The temperature varies between 29 and 39 degrees. Kolkata has a generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Minimum temperature was 26 degrees Celsius. Maximum will go up to 30 degrees. Jammu has a partly cloudy sky becoming generally cloudy towards afternoon or evening or night. Minimum temperature was 25 degrees. Maximum will be around 37. Srinagar is having a partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Temperature hovers between 15 and 28 degrees. Leh is also having a generally cloudy sky. Minimum and maximum temperature is moving from 10 to 23 degrees. Gilgit has a generally cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Temperature is, is hovering between 15 and 33 degrees. Muzaffarabad is having a mainly clear sky becoming partly cloudy towards afternoon or evening. Minimum temperature was 21 degrees Celsius. Maximum will be around 36 degrees. Today is World Music Day. It was first celebrated in France in 1982. The aim was to celebrate a day with free and live music everywhere from streets to gardens. It is celebrated on the day of the summer solstice, 21st of June. It honors musicians around the world and their contribution towards making everything all the more melodious. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. International Day of Yoga is being celebrated across the globe. Large number of people participate in the exercise virtually. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says yoga remains the ray of hope as the whole world fights COVID pandemic. Says yoga emphasizes on both physical and mental health. President Ramnath Kovind says India's vision to bring mind and body together to achieve holistic health has benefited millions. 
Nationwide free vaccination drive against COVID-19 begins for people above 18 years at government facilities. Home Minister Amit Shah says the pace of vaccination will be increased in July and August. India crosses major landmark of administering more than 28 crore COVID vaccine doses. Over 53,000 new COVID-19 cases reported in the last 24 hours, lowest in 88 days. In cricket, New Zealand to resume at the overnight score of 101 for two against India on the fourth day of the WTC finalist Southampton. And with that, we end the midday news.